Hey there, it's almost 2018 and I thought that we should do one more 60 seconds with Suzanne Microsode. All right, here we go. Blender is context sensitive. Now what I mean when I say this is, Blender's menus change based on the object you have selected and the mode that you're in. For instance, with the cube selected, there are many different mode options that are available to you. We can see them by going through the menu here. Now, probably the most common is edit mode, which we can access by hitting the tab key. The tab key works as a toggle, so hitting tab again will bring us back to object mode. But notice that the menu changes as I do that. Also, if I click on sculpt mode, we get different menus. And same with weight and with every one of them. Things are quite different when we work with an armature. So notice that we have object mode, but we also have edit mode and pose mode. And again, the menus change based on the mode that we're in. If we change the editor type, so if I change to a graph editor, you'll notice that the menus change again. Same if I go to, say, the node editor. There are a lot of menus available, and some of them are hidden until we change the mode that we're in. Okay, two more quick hints for you. First of all, hitting the space bar will open a pop-up menu. Now, every command in Blender is available to you through this pop-up menu. And if you want to find one of them, all you have to do is begin to type. So in this case, let's say I wanted to apply a visual transform to an object. I would simply just click on that menu there and it's done. The second is that if you're feeling brave and adventurous, you can load add-ons to create additional menus or floating menus. In this case, you'll notice that I've loaded the 3D view manipulator menu. So we'll hide that away. What's really cool about this is that if I hit control space bar, it brings up the different manipulator types for me to select. And it does it based on my cursor location. Very cool. Well, that's it for now. Cheers, Happy New Year, and we'll catch you on the flippity flop.